NASA's Psyche mission is four days into its six-year trip to the furthest depths of exploration. It's a 2.2 billion mile adventure that will explore the Psyche asteroid between Mars and Jupiter. Our Community Affairs Director Casey Jones was in Cape Canaveral for the launch and introduces us to a local woman who helped get it off the ground. There are jobs that have us shoot for the stars. Here we go. Some that create a universal feeling of achievement. Six, five, but there are few where both are felt deeper than what Lindsay Smith experienced as she watched the Psyche mission launch on Friday. Leading down to those final seconds before launch, it really hit me that it was all real and really happening. With about 30 seconds left, I started to get pretty emotional. And then, you know, you hear everyone counting down that there's only 10, 9. And, yeah, you start to see the smoke billowing out of, you know, out on the ground. And then you have liftoff and then you see the, the flames and... Then the sound hits you, and it is just a surreal moment. And, uh, yeah, I was just trying to take in every little bit that I could. Smith is a 2017 Comstock Park graduate who became an aerospace engineer at the University of Michigan. She's now a systems engineer at Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, working on the Psyche spacecraft since 2019. I mean, it's awesome to see, like, all of the long hours and the frustration of you know, the hundreds of people that have worked on this mission finally culminate into that moment where, you know, it's finally gone and it's going to be actually going to the asteroid and it's working. It's a dream come true to go to space, even if it's not the original dream. I've always been fascinated with space. I always wanted to do something related to space. As a kid, I thought I would <laughs> drive the Mars rover, but now as an adult, I realize that's not how it works. <laughs> the Psyche mission will travel 2.2 billion miles over the next six years to the 16 Psyche asteroid, a body made of mostly metal that could help scientists like Smith learn more about early planetary formation. There are definitely things that they can only work in space, and it was pretty awesome to see you know, like when the solar arrays had deployed or like when I heard the team say that the solar arrays had deployed and then we, you know, had stable power and then we were thermally stable. And it's just, it's very exciting because you know how much preparation went into all of these different aspects and it finally came together as like one cohesive piece to actually work in space, which is truly incredible. And aside from being a brilliant, talented young woman in STEM, she's also my sister-in-law and gave our family a VIP treatment to the launch, creating core memories for her space-obsessed niece and nephew, my kids. To explore a metal-rich asteroid for the very first time. Yeah. An out-of-this-world experience for all that has us psyched for what's next, both for the spacecraft and Smith. Later, I watched the video back of the psyche separation, and that moment was honestly pretty sad. It was, you know, the last time that I'll ever see that ever again, that anyone will ever see that ever again. And, you know, you see it, like, drift off, and even just after a few seconds after separation, it's already, you know, gone into the blackness, and it's just going to be out there on its own. For News 8, I'm Casey Jones, connecting with community.